Mallory and welcome to Go Back Homestead. I've always wanted a Baywatch moment. Today I'm going to show you how to build these uh, trellises for my tomatoes with no, not cattle panel, but something else. I still haven't gotten my adapter yet for my for my mic. It's not too windy today, so hopefully it'll be fine. If not, well, you're gonna see me do stuff with music or stuff like that. <laughs> so thanks to a subscriber of mine, Bettina, I was looking for some cattle panel a little while ago and it's not accessible here. So she's like, well, you know, why don't you do, just try to get some remesh, which is what they put uh, in the cement to make it uh, stronger. So I was like, man, that's a good idea. So I went to look and I found some. They're about six bucks a panel, an eight foot panel. So I figured I would just go with that. Even though there's rust, I don't care. It's just to trellis my tomatoes. It's much better than the stick and string method. <sighs> then T-posts. T-posts were not available. Everything's sold out. So I got some rebar. Um, I wanted the 5 eighths but the 5 8 was uh, 20 feet and I couldn't fit that in my truck so I figured I'd go with the 10 feet half, in, uh, half inch. If it's not strong enough, I'll go get some cedar posts that I have laying around. And it, I'm gonna try with this, see how it goes. I measured it old school, I'm five feet tall. I just measured my head to it and said, okay, there you go, because I couldn't find my darn measuring tape. So I made these ones overlap each other and then I got the rebar in the the squares just to make it a little bit more sturdier because I thought it was a little bit like shaky but this makes it a lot better. I pounded this one a little bit too far so yeah so I'm gonna just come and tie it. So since I installed these, it has been just about three weeks and a half, almost four weeks, and things are really, really shaping up. They are going up in there, and instead of tying them, tying them down with like little clips and stuff, I just decided to weave them through the squares, 
And so sometimes what happens though is that with the wind, it will like the the um, the rust will rub off onto the plant. I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing yet. I will have to keep you guys posted for that. But so far, like I have some fruit setting which I'm pretty excited about. Indeterminate varieties, I usually have a hard time, but I have mixed, mixed a big fruit mix, and I have beefsteak and some other, some other good stuff in there that I'm gonna have to go back in my tags and check it out. Um, I've been taking off the suckers pretty good, and they have been growing up pretty vertically. This one here is my, oh no, this one here is my tallest one, and it's just about, at the three feet mark. So yeah, I'm I'm really excited about these. And these cat these panels cost twelve dollars. And these steaks that I cut in half are worth I think six dollars. So I cut them in half so I get two steaks for, for six dollars, three dollars each. If I would have went for cattle panel I would probably not be able to have <laughs> I, I just wouldn't have been able to afford it. I also have these cages for my determinate varieties. I had these from like years ago. I just re reused them. See how like bent out they are. But you know they're 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 working. They're working pretty good. So I got some tomatoes setting on these ones too, little tiny ones, which I'm really excited about. And this year, for the first time ever, I decided to empty out a horse stall. And use I I, put, I made sure there wasn't too much manure in there, but there is still a little bit sometimes around the the um, feet of the tomatoes. But it is uh, working out pretty good as a as a mulch. So there's pretty much more more um, bedding in here than there is actually uh, manure. But it's uh, it's looking pretty good. I'm pretty excited about my tomatoes. So I also use a stick and string method, but I am just so sick of the stick and string method. I have to come up here and get a new string every week, and now this time it just it just completely fell. So I need to come in and get like two other rows of string to keep these ones up. These are my cherry tomatoes, and um, they're going wild. <laughs> Uh, yeah, my cherry tomatoes usually always grow wild here. I uh, I like jungle tomatoes, but I'm gonna try to get some more up here. Now it's just sort of like falling over, so I'm just gonna. I've been pulling off the suckers though, that's for sure, because I mean cherry tomatoes they will get under out of control. So there you go. So I really hope you enjoyed this video and you got some value out of it. If you did, please hit that thumbs up button. That is like the best way you can support my channel. It helps for the algorithm and I'm really looking to push my channel forward and I've com I'm committed to it. So I'm going to be posting more great content for you guys. Hopefully you like it. So have a good one. Bye.